Hello students, welcome back to the maths class. In our last class, we have discussed some concepts about surface area and volume. In this class, we will move ahead with some more concepts about surface area and volume. So, let us begin. Students, let us now solve question number 5, exercise 13.3. It says, what length of tarpaulin 3 meter wide will be required to make conical tent of height 8 meter and base radius 6 meter. Assume that the extra length of material that will be required for stitching margins and wastage in cutting is approximately 20 centimeter. Here we will take the value of pi as 3.14 as it is instructed in the question. Okay? So, let us solve the question. Students, what are the given data? As per the given data, height of the tent is 8 meter. So, h is equal to 8 meter and radius of the conical tent is 6 meter. So, r is equal to 6 meter. So, let us first find out the slant height because we need to find out the curved surface area. Why curved surface area and why not total surface area? Because we are going to make a tent from tarpaulin. So, the tarpaulin is going to cover the curved surface area. That means the curved surface area of the cone is to be found out. So, let us find out L. L is equal to square root of R square plus A square that is equal to square root of 6 square plus 8 square square root of 36 plus 64 square root of 100 that is 10 meter. Okay? So, the slant height of the tent is 10 meter. Okay? Now, let us find out curved surface area of the cone. So, curved surface area is equal to pi r l that is equal to 3.14 into 6 into 10 that is 314 divided by 100 into 60. So, that is 188.4 meter square. So, curved surface area of the cone is 188.4 meter square. Okay? Students, area of the tent is equal to area of the tarpaulin sheet. So, length into breadth is equal to 188.4. Why length into breadth? Because tarpaulin sheet will be in the form of rectangle. So, its area is equal to the area of the tent. So, length into breadth is equal to 188.4 meter square. Okay. So, what is the breadth? That is 3 meter as it is given. Okay. The breadth of the tarpaulin sheet is 3 meter. So, length into 3 is equal to 188.4. So, length will be 188.4 by 3 that is equal to 62.8 meter. Fine. Now, given that wastage of margin is 20 centimeter, okay. So, let us now convert it into meter because we are calculating in meter. So, 20 centimeter is equal to 0 0.2 meter, fine. So, actual length of tarpaulin sheet required will be the sum of both the lengths. So, actual length of is equal to 62.8 plus 0 0.2 that is 63 meter. So, the length of the required tarpaulin sheet will be 63 meter. Hope you clearly understand the solution for question number 5. Students, let us now solve question number 6. It says the slant height and base diameter of a conical tom are 25 meter and 14 meter respectively. Find the cost of whitewashing its curved surface at the rate of rupees 210 per 100 meter square. Hope you understand the question. Let us now solve it. Okay? Students, as per the given data, L is equal to 25 meter and D is equal to 14 meter. 
so r will be equal to d by 2 that is 14 by 2 7 meter so we have l 25 meter and r 7 meter so let us now find out the curved surface area so curved surface area is equal to pi r l that is 22 by 7 into 7 into 25 550 meter square okay the curved surface area is 550 meter square what else find the cost of white washing its curved surface area at the rate of 210 rupees per 100 meter square okay per 100 meter square cost is 210 hence the cost for 550 meter square we need to write this statement as cost per 100 meter square is equal to rupees 210 so total cost will be equal to 550 okay divided by 100 why per 100 square meter it is rupees 210 so we need to find out what will be the total cost into 210 okay and it is rupees 1155 rupees 1155 so it will cost rupees 1155 while whitewashing such a conical term hope you understand the solution for question number 6 students let us now solve question number 7 okay it says a joker's cap is in the form of a right circular cone of base radius 7 cm and height 24 cm. Find the area of the sheet required to make 10 such caps. Okay. So, let us find the solution for this. As per the given data, base radius R is 7 cm and height is 24 cm. Fine. We need to find out the sheet required to make 10 such caps. Okay. So, let us find the slant height first. So, L is equal to square root of R square plus H square that is equal to 7 square plus 24 square 49 plus 576 that is equal to square root of 625 or 25 centimeter. Okay. So, the slant height is 25 centimeter. So, now let us find curved surface area of the cone. So, curved surface area is equal to pi r l that is 22 by 7 into what is the radius? It is 7, 7 centimeter into l is equal to 25. So, curved surface area is found to be 550 centimeter square. Hence, area of the sheet required to make 10 caps, this is for 1 cap. So, for 10 caps is equal to 550 into 10 that is 5500 centimeter square. So, this is the area of the sheet that is required to make 10 cap. Okay? Hope you understand the solution for question number 7. Students, let us now solve question number 8. Okay? It says a bus stop is barricaded from the remaining part of the road by using 50 hollow cones made of recycled cardboard. Each cone has a base diameter of 40 centimeter and height 1 meter. If the outer side of each of the cones is to be painted and the cost of painting is rupees 12 per meter square what will be the cost of painting all these cones okay the instruction is given to use pi as 3.14 meter and it is instructed to take square root of 1.04 as 1.02 okay so let us discuss the solution students as per the given data height of the cone is 1 meter so h is equal to 1 meter Okay. 
radius of the cone that is diameter by 2 diameter is given as 40 so r is equal to 40 by 2 that is 20 centimeter fine let us now convert it into meter because we are going to deal with meter that is equal to 0 0.2 meter fine now let us find the slant height so l is equal to square root of r square plus a square that is square root of 0 0.2 square plus 1 square. So, it gives us square root of 1.04 and as it is being instructed by the question itself, it is equal to 1.02 meter. Fine. Now, this is the slant height. We need to find the curved surface area of the cone. So, curved surface area is equal to pi r l that is 3.14 into 0 0.2 into 1.02 okay so students when we calculate you can calculate by yourself it will be equal to 0 0.64056 meter square okay so this is the curved surface area for each cone but here we are using 50 cones so let us find out the curved surface area for 50 cones okay curved surface area for 50 cones is equal to 0 0.64056 into 50 this will be equal to 32.028 meter square fine so this is the curved surface area for 50 cones now let us find out the cost of painting okay cost of painting for 1 meter square is given as rupees 12 that implies total cost is equal to 32.028 into 12 and when you calculate it will be rupees 384.336 or we can round it off as rupees 384.30 okay hope you understand the solution for this question students let us now discuss about surface area of a sphere okay what is a sphere is it the same as a circle can you draw a circle on a paper yes you can because a circle is a plain closed figure whose every point lies at a constant distance called the radius from a fixed point which is called the center of the circle okay now if you pass a string along a diameter of a circular disc and rotate it as you had done it previously in case of a triangle then you see a new solid as you can see in figure 13.18 what does it resemble a ball yes it is called a sphere can you guess what happens to the center of the circle when it forms a sphere on rotation of course it becomes the center of the sphere so a sphere is a three dimensional figure or a solid figure which is made up of all points in the space which lie at a constant distance called the radius from a fixed point called the center of the sphere okay you need to note that a sphere is like the surface of a ball. The word solid sphere is used for the solid whose surface is a sphere. Okay. Let us now discuss the activity given in your book. Students, have you ever played with a top or have you at least watched someone play with one? You must be aware of how a string is 
wood around it. Now let us take a rubber ball and drive a nail into it. Taking support of the nail, let us wind a string around the ball. When you have reached the fullest part of the ball, use pins to keep the string in place and continue to wind the string around the remaining part of the ball till you have completely covered the ball. You can see it in figure 13.19a. Mark the starting and finishing points on the string and slowly unwind the string from the surface of the ball. Now ask someone to help you in measuring the diameter of the ball from which you easily get its radius. Now on a sheet of paper draw 4 circles with radius that is equal to the radius of the ball. Start filling the circles one by one with the string and you have wound around the ball. You can see it in figure 13.19b. Students, what have you achieved in all this? The string which had completely covered the surface area of the spear has been used to completely fill the regions of four circles all of the same radius as of the sphere. So what does that mean? This suggests that the surface area of a sphere of radius r is equal to 4 times the area of a circle of radius r. So students, surface area of a sphere is equal to 4 times the area of a circle of radius r. What is the area of circle? We know it is pi r square where r is the radius. So, 4 times that is 4 into pi r square r is equal to 4 pi r square where r is the radius of the sphere. Okay? Students, how many faces do you see in the surface of a sphere? There is only one which is curved, isn't it? A sphere is having a curved surface. Okay. Now, let us take a solid sphere and slice it exactly through the middle with a plane that passes through its center. What happens to the sphere? Yes. It gets divided into two equal parts. You can see it in figure 13.20. What will each half be called? It is called a hemisphere because hemi also means half. And what about the surface of a hemisphere? How many faces does it have? Two. Yes, where there is a curved face and a flat face. Isn't it? So, students, here you can see this is a hemisphere. Okay? This is a hemisphere. And this part, this is a curved surface. So, surface 1 is your curved one. And surface 2 that is, this is the surface, this is a plane, circular surface, it is a plane, so plane surface. That means, a hemisphere has two surfaces, okay. The core surface area of the hemisphere is half of the surface area of the sphere, so area of curved surface is equal to half of 4 pi r square because 4 pi r square is the curved surface area of the sphere. So, it is 2 pi r square. So, it is 2 pi r square. Okay. Now, what is the surface area of the plane surface? Area of 
प्लेन सरफेस इज इक्वल टू पाई आर स्क्वायर बिकॉज इट इज अ सर्कल इज इंड इट सो दिस इज द एरिया ऑफ द प्लेन सरफेस एंड दिस इज द एरिया ऑफ द कॉट सरफेस सो वी कैन राइट इट डाउन लाइक दिस कॉट सरफेस एरिया of hemisphere is equal to 2 pi r square okay and total surface area that means curved surface area plus plane surface area that is equal to 2 pi r square Plus pi r square that is equal to three pi r square. Okay, so curved surface area of the hemisphere is equal to two pi r square and total surface area of the hemisphere is equal to three pi r square. Hope you have understood this, students. Let us now discuss example seven. Okay, it says find the surface area of a sphere of radius seven centimeter. let us discuss the solution so what is given radius radius is equal to 7 cm fine so what would be the curved surface area formula is so curved surface area is equal to 4 pi r square so 4 into 22 by 7 into 7 square that is equal to Six hundred and sixteen centimeter square. Okay, this is a simple one, isn't it? Hope you have understood this. Let us now discuss example eight. It says find first the curved surface area and the total surface area of a hemisphere of radius twenty-one centimeter. Hope you understand the question. Let us discuss the solution. Okay, so what is given radius? Radius is equal to twenty-one centimeter. So, curved surface area of hemisphere. What is the formula? Two pi r square. That is two into twenty-two by seven into twenty-one square. So, two into twenty-two by seven into twenty-one into twenty-one. That is forty-four into sixty. Three that is equal to two seven seven two centimeter square. Fine. So this is the curved surface area of the hemisphere. Let us now find the total surface area of the hemisphere. Okay. So total surface area of the hemisphere is equal to three pi r square. That is three into twenty two by seven into twenty one square. So three into Twenty-two by seven, twenty-one, twenty-one. That is sixty-six into sixty-three. That will be equal to four one five eight centimeter square. So in this way, we have found out the curved surface area and the total surface area of the hemisphere having radius twenty-one centimeter. Hope you have understood this example. students let us now discuss example 9 it says the hollow sphere in which the circus motorcyclist performs his stunts has a diameter of 7 meter find the area available to the motorcyclist for riding okay so let us discuss the solution diameter of the sphere is equal to 7 meter so d is equal to 7 meter that means r is equal to d by 2 that is 3. Five meter. Fine. So the riding space available for the motorcyclist is the surface area of the sphere, which is given by four pi r square. Okay, because it is the curved surface area. Surface area. Okay, riding space. The surface area. So four into twenty-two by seven into three point five square. That is equal to. 
154 meter square. So, the area available to the motorcyclist for riding is 154 meter square. Okay? It is very simple one. Hope you have understood this. Isn't it? Students, let us now discuss example 10. It says a hemispherical dome of a building needs to be painted if the circumference of the base of the dome is 17.6 meter. Find the cost of painting it. Given the cost of painting is rupees 5 per 100 centimeter square. You can refer the figure 13.21 given in your book. Now let us discuss the solution. Since only the rounded surface of the dome is to be painted, we would need to find the curved surface area of the hemisphere to know the extent of painting that needs to be done. So, as per the given data, circumference is equal to 17.6 meter. That means, 2 pi r is equal to 17.6 meter. 2 into 22 by 7 into r is equal to 17.6 meter. So, r is equal to 17.6 into 7 divided by 44 meter. Okay? So, when we calculate, it will give us the solution 2.8 meter. So, the radius is 2.8 meter. Now, the curved surface area of the dome is 2 pi r square because it is hemisphere. Okay, it is hemisphere. So, curved surface area is equal to 2 pi r square that is 2 into 22 by 7 into 2.8 square. Okay, so when we calculate, we will find the value 49.28 meter square. So, this is the curved surface area of the dome. Now, cost of painting 100 centimeter square is rupees 5. So, cost of painting 1 meter square is equal to, let us find it out. Cost of painting per 100 centimeter square is equal to rupees 5. Okay. So, cost of painting 1 meter square so, that is for 1 meter square is rupees 5 into 100, that is rupees 500. Okay. Now, what is the total cost? So, total cost of painting is equal to rupees 500 and what is the surface area we have found out? 49.28. So, when we calculate, we will get the value of rupees 24,640. Okay. So, this is the total cost of painting the whole dome. Hope you have understood this solution. Students, this is the end for today's session. In this session, we have discussed some concepts about surface area and volume and we have gone through some examples and solved some questions. In our next class, we will discuss some more concepts about surface area and volume. Till then, just keep enjoying with maths, keep practicing, keep smiling. Thank you.